Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My big old hunk of meat loon. <laughs> I've been a <laughs> Take a bite out of that <laughs> meat loon. I've been to a lot of meats lately. Well, um, you are what you eat, apparently. Oh. Anyway, folks, today we are doing something so classic. We are doing something so comforting. Oh. It's the perfect Sunday meal. Yes. Let's tell them we're doing our classic, classic pot roast. Oh, oh, this takes me back to coming home from church, and Mom had this cooking uh, in the stove, yes, and we ate yes. it. It's actually the first time I ever met Chris's parents. <laughs> His mother made a, uh, a pot roast, a Sunday pot roast. That's right. <laughs> Very right. exciting. We had just been to church, and he, yes. they had just built this new sanctuary. And what did you say to Well, him? he told me that I need to butch it up a bit. So I, of course, went into the sanctuary. And as I was going through the pew by Modell, I said, beautiful sanctuary. <laughs> And we sat down and I said, beautiful sanctuary. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got that was car. many years ago. Okay, so we, are, we have so like derailed. Okay, totally. so let's talk about this gorgeous Look piece of meat here. Okay, so let's start. This is a three and a half pound roast. I love doing a chuck roast. It's boneless. Um, you can do bone in if you want. It's just going to cook a little longer. But what I did, first of all, we need to sear it. We yes. need to lock in all that incredible flavor. So I got, first of all, well, what I like to do is I like, you know, I like to season every layer. So I do a little light uh, salt salting and peppering of both of all sides. over the, the yeah. roast. And then we need to dredge it in some flour. So we've got some seasoned flour, some flour with just a little more salt and pepper in it. I think it's a teaspoon of salt and like a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then you just coat that until it is uh, fully c covered in yeah. flour. And then we put it in our in a large, either a skillet or a Dutch, Dutch oven. oven. Now you can do this, This we're gonna show you two methods. You can do this either in like a in the oven which is what we're going to do or you can do it in your slow cooker so if right. you're going to do it either way you need to sear off your meat so we're doing it in our dutch oven so we're just going to sear it in our dutch oven yes if you're doing it in the slow cooker then you do it in a skillet and then transfer it to the slow cooker okay so we put that in in a in, in the, the dutch, dutch oven, oven that's got some oil and some butter that's been heated over a nice medium high heat and then we <laughs> sear it for about five minutes on one side and then I very carefully, with a couple of tongs and a, like a shovel, flip it over and then sear it for another five minutes. And it gets this, it's not going to cook it all the way through, obviously, uh, but it locks in that um, incredible flavor. Okay, so now we are going to, I'm just checking my uh, stove over here. Yeah. So now we're going to, we need to uh, really build up these flavors. So we're going to use uh, the same oven that, or the same Dutch oven that yeah. we just used. And the, all the goodness down there in the bottom the of goodness that pan. Is down there. May, this, mm. this is going to render some grease. So you only want a couple tablespoons of oil in there. So you may need to fish a little bit of that out. Um, but then what we do is we throw in our mirepoix and that is our onion, celery, and carrot. You got it. And <laughs> you want them all to be finely minced. This, this isn't really so much for what you're going to be eating because we're going to add these beautiful uh, vegetables in later. Yes. This is just to help season the meat as it's cooking. So we cook that for about five minutes until it becomes nice and soft and then uh, we're going to thicken things up a little bit and we're going to make a what? A roux! roux. <laughs> we add in two tablespoons of flour and we just stir that around until it really it cooks out the flour, only like a minute. And then we're going to add three cups of beef stock and then let that cook until it comes to a wow. boil Which like I it is. I think it's doing right It's doing now. right now. It's beautiful. Look at that. Okay, so it, and what that roux has kind of made it thicken just a little bit. So now we are ready to Here, get this party right going. There. Okay, so we're just going to, we got a, yes. a wooden cutting board to protect the heat. Yes. <laughs> okay, so now you're just going to, what, what the loon is going to hopefully do. Let's well, see. I got it. I got you it. You got it. it is just place it in yeah, there? Yeah, just place it in there Oops. and just snuggle that on in there. I in think those I amazing... snuggled it. I think I dove it in there. They, well, that's okay. As long <laughs> as you get it in there without... Ooh, wee! Doesn't that look amazing? Now, if we Ooh. were doing this slow cooker wise, then, then this is when you get out your slow cooker, you put the meat in and you can just pour that sauce over the top. That looks so It's good. already like, yeah. I'm like, oh, they're dying. Okay, so now we've got our oven set to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and the loon is going to put that in there and it's going to cook for two hours, two and a half hours, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna add some more things to make it even better. <laughs> Yay, okay. I gotta put on the red gloves. And now what did you say that we're gonna do while it's Cooking. We're gonna go take a dip in the pool <laughs> with the dogs, probably. So it's summertime, which is an unusual time to be making pot roast. Uh, <laughs> but why not? But you know, if you're watching this and it's winter time, it's a perfect time to go, you know, light a fire, read a book, and exactly. have a hot toddy. Or... <laughs> perfect. But we're getting in the pool. Or you could heat the pool up. <laughs> Oh, I tell you.
tell you. So we've toweled off. Flo, the Wonder Dog, the Wonder Pool yes. Dog, his Esther Williams slash Greg Luganis slash Michael Phelps. <laughs> anyway, so this has been going for two and a half hours. Now, if you'll see right here, I told you we were going to add some other wonderful yes. things. These are th uh, three. Yukon Gold to, uh, tomatoes, potatoes that I peeled and then just cut them into bite-sized pieces. Though I love, I feel like I'm an airplane like director. <laughs> and then <laughs> I've got two carrots that I peeled and just cut and into bite-sized pieces. pieces. Yeah, those are cute. And then the, this is a cup of frozen pearl onions. Those are love great. Love pearl onions. Okay, too. it's so now we're going to get this out of, and yes. then we're going to add those, and then All we're right. getting really close. All right, I'm telling you, the smell is so crazy. It reminds me of Sunday. Coming home from church and just like, okay, you ready? <laughs> yep. Wow. Whoa. Oh, boy. Lord. So I just dump so these just in? just dump that. Get it in, okay. in the liquid area. Okay. We'll and um, over here. Put some it's not going to take these too long no. to, uh, okay. oh, boy. Okay, so kind of stir them around. Get them in. Make sure you get them in the liquid. Yeah. So this is going to cook for just, an, we're going to do this for another 30 minutes. And then, wow, um, look at that. yeah, that looks, that's so amazing. And then we're going to come back. Good? Yeah, that that's good. good. Just yeah. make sure everyone is as close Everybody into the liquid. Into it doesn't the... have to be completely submerged. It's going to, they're going to cook. And yeah. then we're going to add the peas, the frozen peas. And then oh, we're getting real close. We're going to make a gravy. And then folks, it is. We're going to eat it. <laughs> that's right. All right. Open up the oven. Yes. Loony. <laughs> Oh, it's time for Sunday dinner or Yay. whatever day yeah. it happens to be. Oh, my gosh. And it is actually dinner time. It is, and we are so ready to eat, and you are going to be so ready to eat this when you see this. So we're going to do the big reveal. We're going to tell yes. you after we show you how we got here. Yes. So this thing is so tender, it actually went in, moved into oh two, two separate little rows. But it's just, look at, that. look at that. I mean, the tenderness is off the charts. Oh, and look at these the potatoes, the vegetables, vegetables. Are So if you, oh. when we last spoke, we um, had put the vegetables in and, and then we let them go for, what did we say? We let them go for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. And yeah. then we brought the, uh, the pot out and we then added in the frozen, frozen peas. Frozen peas, yeah. And then you're just, the potatoes need, the, everything needs to cook a little bit longer just to get nice and tender. And yes. that's anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the size of your chunks. Um, you may just test it with a fork, and if it's tender, yes. then or a knife, and then the bigger it, then, the chunks, the, hard, the longer the, the big. longer it is. It's, it's <laughs> the the words to live by. It's, it's the way life is. Okay, so then we take that from the when the oven when they're nice and tender, and then what I do, we got to get those the the potato or the, uh, vegetables, the vegetables out of there. So yeah. I use a just a slotted spoon, and you just fish them out of there, and um, and put them in. We just put them in something like that, and mm -hmm. then it's time to remove the meat. So then yes. I use a couple of nice you know, big spatulas, whatever you've got. Yep. They're going to be super tender, so just be careful. And uh, But that's okay. If they come across a little, if they fall apart a little bit, no big deal. They're so good. They're so tender. And then transfer them to a uh, cutting board and then f tent them with foil because... Now we're going to make meat. this yes. incredible, inc no, the gravy. No, I meant you tented the oh, meat. Oh, we tented the meat, yes. and now we're going to make this Look amazing gravy. gravy. So what we did to, uh, to do this, I mean, this thing is so, this, this, this sauce is so loaded, loaded with flavor. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm I can't dying. even speak. <laughs> so we, th what we did is we got a uh, saucepan over on the stove, and we just got like a little sieve, a medium-sized sieve or a colander, whatever you've got. You want to strain that liquid into that saucepan because there's, gonna, gold. there's that mirepoix that was still in there, and it's, it's, it is—it's liquid gold. Mm -hmm. And then you do that. Now, if you feel like there's not enough, um, not, a, not enough gravy, gravy for you, yeah. then you can add some more beef stock. That's no problem. You're still gonna have so much flavor. And then because we had that thickener from the roux and all, it, it, we we want it, It's already pretty thick, but we want to get it just a little thicker. So I let let it simmer for about anywhere from five to ten minutes, and right. then pour it into this. And yes. that is all there is to All it right. folks so now we're going you're to cut. Gonna cut so you cut and some of that meat i'm going to put some of the we're going to plate this so thing tender so it looks perfect for the sunday table <laughs> i mean they, you know they talk about cutting against the grain but this is so tender oh, that look at that that's great oh do you see this folks can everyone see this i hope so you're on the other side of it i know well i'm about to be on the other <laughs> side of this okay so i'm that's not going right. to cut slice all of this so what he's doing for, for presentation purposes, yes. normally we'd go ahead and slice all of this, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Yes. Oh, this put is it so... right in the middle there. I think you slice one more little slice. I just, I'm so happy. This, this is, brings back such great memories. I mean, this is when the family gets together, and we all talk about how life is so beautiful <laughs> and how much we love one another. Yeah, and... Totally. <gasps> um... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on. Let me put a little finishing touches here. Yes, yes. Please. And... 
Hold people, don't look yet. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have to be, just dump it, I think. Here, let's put this back Okay, here. so that is gorgeous. So now I like to, just for presentation's sake, go ahead and just do, you don't have to do this, but just do a little drizzle just to get the party going. Wow. And then you're going to want to pass this, of course, again at table Oh, yeah, table pass the side. gravy, please. And then, you know, because we're never done, uh, just a little, I add a, just a little bit of finishing salt, just some coarse sea salt or some whatever you got. Just <laughs> I to can't get, even. I know, I, can't, I know. Can't. It's crazy. It's insane. All right. Okay. That looks like it's ready to be served. All right, I'm going to hand this to you. We're going to put the plates over here. Okay. And you're going to serve there. us up. You guys, curry, get put on your mask. Come over, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> We've got enough. This is enough to get us through half a day. Yes. Okay. Now, please. Okay. Well, I'm, okay. I'm serving you, of course. Yes. Of course you are. And, oh, there's, there's there's a spoon behind you. If you need. That's, oh, that's, that's okay. I'm I'm okay. pretty good here. Look, I love the little pearl onions. Of course. We would highly recommend serving That's this plenty. with some like bread, some like nice country white bread. Give yourself some. I'm gonna get myself some Ooh, for sure. Yeah, some homemade bread. Homemade bread is good, but any kind of bread. Do you want something to sop up that gravy? Oh my gosh, good gravy. Good mm. gravy. Okay. Got it. I am so got it. Okay. okay. Let me just scoot this right over here. <laughs> and I am going to give myself just a little more gravy. <laughs> of course, why you not? You never have enough. Oh, wow. Okay. I know. Okay. Hold on. That's a... Mm. Okay. Mm. I know. I know. Okay. Mm. Folks, Sunday dinner. That is the classic pot roast right there where I met Muldell and Jerry Longwell. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful thank you. That's a beautiful... <laughs> I still laugh every time. My mom's like... Oh, oh, thank you. That nice. was, I think, like, really sort of like the first time she had met him. It was. Yeah. The very first. That is... That's fall apart that tender. That is fall apart. <gasps> that is fall apart tender. You know what? I'm wow. going to get a little potatoes in there, too. Yeah. Oh, the potato. Everything is so... Oh, forget it. I'm just going for it. We have to have a class in forking food. <laughs> it just brings back beautiful happy I don't memories. need to fork that. I need to... <laughs> just open your mouth. Wow. That is so good. It's just the meat, it's just you can tell it's been cooking and just the juices are just. <gasps> it's quintessential comfort food. <sighs> Everything is what you'd hoped it would be and a little bit more. Spot on. It is so great. And the, just the flavors are just, it's so, it's home. It's so home. And it's 1000% Luna Fruit. <laughs> Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, and the gravy is just a topper twist. Good mm. gravy. Oh, my Chris, goodness. Look, I can't even, I can't tell you. It's so tender. I just love yeah, it. And just this was just a like a good Come old on. basic chuck roast. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing more comforting. Mm. 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 There is nothing mm. more comforting. Mm. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. Pull up a chair. Oh, I wish wow. you could. It smells amazing in here. It tastes amazing. Oh. And you can get this recipe on howtofeedaloon.com. Oh, I love the carrots. Everything mm. is so good. Everything, the pearl onions? No. Get out. Oh, no. So go to our social media, like us, share us. Mm. Do all of that good stuff. Share the love. We love you. Make mm. pot roast. Yes. So and if it's just company. for you and your, your loved one, your, your spouse or whatever, who it's, cares? Or yourself. Just make it for yourself. <laughs> make a bottle. Give it for leftovers. I'm telling you, that there's, there really are not any better mm. leftovers than this. The mm. next day, make a sandwich. Oh, open face sandwich. Open mm. face, open <laughs> face, open I'm face. Gonna stop my face. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> I love hot rolls. I know. Hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>